Well, 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 the Crusader's back again, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over Batman Kivo's video on how to get half a million dollars in primaries. Is it too good to be true? The Crusader's gonna give you the skinny. Stay tuned. And we're back. Okay, I first off wanna say, I've been getting a lot of people asking me about Bandman Kivo, uh, wanting to know about you know him or his videos or his content. Is it good, is it not? And uh, the first thing I'd like to say is, is I think it's really good. I like that he branded himself and that's something that's so important that um, a lot of people don't realize when they're trying to get going, whether it be in business, YouTube or whatever, you need to have a strong brand. And he is definitely doing that. His videos have, you know, him with all of like, you know, the jewelry and all that kind of stuff with the things in the background. I think that's really, he's doing a good job. So good for him. Now, as far as the content in what his videos, in what he said, that I'd like to go over a little bit because there's some things I think that weren't 100% maybe hit on. So without further ado, we're gonna get started. Here goes, all right, in the video, um, he went and he went on the computer and he's looking at all these different sites like My Jewelers Club, all these different jewelry uh, stores and um, uh, Credit Strong. Um, and, and those are all, yes, yes, those are sites that pretty much, it's like, they're kind of businesses that are kind of like, they know what they're doing. They just, in order for them to be able to sell you a primary trade line account, they have to have some sort of, merchandise, they have to have a store, they have to look like they're selling things because no data furnisher would allow them to furnish data to the bureaus if that wasn't the case. Like if you go in and say, yeah, I want to be a data furnisher, uh, I want to just sell primary trade lines and not, you know, give anybody, you know, any items or anything, they're going to be like, yeah, right. You know, I mean, they, they don't want you doing that. So they go and they have this overpriced costume jewelry and stuff, which, hey, you know what, whatever works. And um, it's real easy to get the accounts, you know. Um, well, there's one thing I will say is that I have heard of people with CPNs having problems getting some of these accounts. So that's just, I'm throwing that out there. And two, as far as the social security number, yeah, chances are you're gonna get the account. The only thing that, you know, the only thing that, I, the reason I don't like these accounts and that I don't really talk about them or recommend them is because, I mean, these jewelry account uh, primaries, I mean, they're, they're trash banks. I mean, and when I mean trash banks, I mean banks that they're not a major bank, they're subprime, I mean, they, they lend to anybody. And a lot of the other lenders know this. So when they see something like that on your credit profile, they're kind of like, it's still, I mean, yes, it looks better than an AU, yes. But still, it's kind of like, all right, my jeweler is all right, you know. Whereas if you were to go the other route and get the um, secured card, like from City, yeah, you're gonna start out with a low limit and it's gonna be a secured card. But over time, that's going to grow into an unsecured card with a higher limit, and it's going to be from a major bank, and it's not going to be a store card. It's going to be a revolving line of credit, which that looks the best on your credit. In the video, you'll notice he said, um, you know, go to uh, Credit Strong, which Credit Strong's good too. It's pretty much self lender, you know, Dr. Pepper, Mr. Pib kind of thing. They're just, you know, a different type of self lender deal. Um, he suggested getting the $18,000 loan. And in, in my opinion, okay, yeah, that, that is good. But the only problem with that is most people can't afford the monthly payment that came with that. So it's like, if you can afford the monthly payment, then great. But again, the only, there's another problem or caveat with that. And that's, you, you, it's only going to help your credit after you've paid at least half of it off. So you got to think, you're going to be waiting, unless you've got the cash to just put down and knock it down real low, you're going to be waiting a hot minute before that balance gets dropped to a level to where it actually helps your credit instead of hurting it. So, I mean, that's, you know, I, that's why I would always personally recommend getting uh, a loan with a smaller amount. But hey, if you've got a bunch of cash and you really wanna build your credit up and you've got an ass load of cash, hell yeah, great, go do all that stuff. Get a secured card and put the, make the highest uh, limit you possibly can. Yes, that will help your credit more than if you go and get the smaller card. It's just, 
you know, when I give advice, I tell people to get just the minimums because normally people who are trying to build their credit don't have a lot of access to cash. So it's like, you know, um, I try to give them a way of doing this with the least amount of cost possible. So it's like, I mean, one of the things that everybody needs to know right now is, is yes, those accounts that he was talking about work, but your ass is gonna be waiting at four to six months minimum. Even if you go in, you do everything he says, you pay, you get all those accounts, you pay the money. First of all, first of all, you're gonna have a lot of inquiries because a lot of those give hard inquiries. Credit Strong does not, but most of the other jewelry uh, cards do give a hard inquiry. And um, so, you know, once you get those inquiries there, they gotta stay on there for two years. You can't take them off because they have accounts attached to them. So it's like, you kind of got, when you're, when you're trying to build an account the fastest possible, you kind of got to pick and choose your battles as far as, okay, this is going to cost an inquiry. Uh, is it worth it? And in my uh, experience, it's not. Uh, again, you know, Credit Strong, they're good there because they don't give you a hard inquiry. Self Lender, Self Lender is even better than Credit Strong, and I'll tell you why, because they, not only do they give you the secured loan, but you can also get, and get a secured credit card with them. Again, no hard inquiry. So now you've got, let's just say you go with Self Lender, do the $500 uh, loan. Once you pay off, I think like a hundred bucks of it, they'll let you open up a hundred dollar secured card with what you paid. So now you have two accounts, goose egg inquiries. See, that's where the way you want to go because when you get to the six month, the four to six month area, when you go to try to get another card, you don't want to have a bunch of inquiries because that's going to that's gonna hinder you. So, um, and as far as the secure card is concerned, yes, that'll cost you an inquiry. Um, I'm pretty sure that the Citibank uh, secure card gives you an inquiry on, I think I want to say uh, Equifax, but, um, but that, that is worth it. And I'm going to tell you why. When you get that secure card, it's just, it's that your foot is in the door with a major bank. It, I mean, like self lender is good, but Citibank is way better, obviously. And that is just going to get your foot in the door and that's going to just give your profile so much more clout. Yes, you're going to have to wait, you know, a year. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it takes about a year for that car to turn unsecured. But it's just, it's going to be worth it because once it does, I mean, and you can start applying for things, for other things, like before that turns unsecured, you can apply for like a, a synchrony card or something like that. And um, you still could get approved. And you could also... You could also uh, try to get another Citibank card unsecured and they still may give it to you. Citibank has just been really generous. You know, it's just what I've seen in the past, in my experience. So Citibank and Synchrony are, um, those are the, are the two best ones, in my opinion. And another good thing about those two is that they're really generous as far as giving you credit line increases. So instead of going with like the My Jewelers, okay, that the My Jewelers will start you out at 5,000, but this is what you do. You get the secured card. Let's just say you put $200 down. You do the minimum. When they return your security deposit, you can get, they usually give you a line increase to like 700, but um, sometimes they'll give you, uh, depending on what you're doing on your other accounts, they'll give you more to like a thousand. And then after, I wanna say, I mean, four months, another four months, you can ask for a credit line increase in increments of $1,500. Plus the um, synchrony cards, they are really good about giving credit line increases too. So chances are they'll start you out at around, you know, 1500, but then you can do the, the uh, credit line increases about every four months and, you know, build that up too. So before you know it, within about, I wanna say less than a year, you're gonna have some cards that, you know, have got about, a, you know, some credit limits up in the 5,000s. I mean, that's just, I've, I've, I've firsthand seen that done. That's why I'm letting you guys know. So, I mean, you know, these other ones, yeah, I mean, you could try them. I mean, hey, you know, be my guest and try them. If, you know, if you want to give it a whirl and see what happens, hey, let me know. I just personally, that's just, I don't really go for it. That's just my two cents, all right? But, you know, as far as, you know, Bandman Kivo and his channel are concerned, I think that he's very knowledgeable. I think he's got a good mindset. I love how he branded himself. I mean, that's really good. So. Um, I'm not trying to like dog him or anything or try to like say, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about or I know more. And I, I'm just giving you my opinion and my experience based on the things that I've done and you've seen firsthand. Uh, I mean, hey, there very well be guys out there that have gotten, went and did my jewelers and did all the stuff he's saying and boom and got a bunch of stuff. I just, me personally, it has not worked out for me. The other way, my way has worked out better for me. So 
With that being said, I gotta get going. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Crusader out.